Everybody um, should be started on either uh, polyhexanide, which is also called PHMB, um, or chlorhexidine. These are very similar drugs. Um, they may not be available in your center for a few days. They may have to send off for them. Um, in the interim, they may have broline available or hexamidine, which are the other two drugs that are most widely used, and we'll start you on those. About 10% of patients may have a bacterial infection at the same time, and they will be getting antibiotics. You may be started on, on an antibiotic if there's uncertainty about the diagnosis, but once the diagnosis of amoeba is made, within a few days, you should be started on, and ideally straight away, you should be started on um, polyhexanide, otherwise known as PHMB, or chlorhexidine. Generally, you'll be given hourly drops to use. We don't have a um, tested uh, a routine of drops, but uh, often overnight for one or two nights. Um, I don't use overnight treatment myself. Uh, um, I don't think it makes a lot of difference, but it, it may do. Um, we use drops, I think everybody uses drops hourly during the day for the first week or 10 days. So that would be up to about 16 drops a day during waking hours. Overnight, as I mentioned, some colleagues feel that overnight treatment for one or two nights is helpful. We want to hit the, these bugs um, hard at the beginning when they're still running around in the cornea. Uh, once they start getting treated, they become encysted and become more difficult to treat. So that's the reason for intensive treatment, which we use for uh, usually a week to 10 days, then go down to two hourly for another week to 10 days and then dropping to six times, two hours about eight times a day, then about six times a day, and then down to four times a day, depending on how um, patient's doing. Um, it's probably not advisable to start steroid drops, which are used for um, uh, infections, which are associated with a lot of inflammation, which amoeba can be, for uh, two or three weeks. And that's because we need your immune cells to help eat up the amoeba. But if we use steroids with an appropriate anti-amoebic, which would be PHMB or, or chlorhexidine, we think the outcomes uh, uh, will, will improve in patients who need steroid drops. And we only use them if there's a lot of inflammation causing uh, pain or inflammation damaging the cornea. So about three quarters of patients at least in our center, will be put on steroids at some point uh, after two or three weeks, depending on how they do. We don't use them unless we feel really pushed into them because of pain and inflammation.